What's going on everyone, this is Luke, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about what the future of match betting holds and is it still going to be possible in 2019. This is something that I get asked a lot of the time, is it still worth getting into match betting, is it still worth even doing? I've seen that it's not as profitable as it once was and things like that and that is very true, it is not as profitable as it once was. When I first started match betting, you know, you were looking at profits of £2,000 plus every single month. That is just not really that possible anymore unless you've got a big bankroll. When you've got a big bankroll, you're going to get some big bets on, you're going to hit some big wins because sometimes in match betting, you do need a little bit of luck to hit massive wins rather than some small ones. But most of the time, you're looking at small, consistent profits. And those small, consistent profits aren't as possible as they once were. You used to have 40, 50, 60 bookmakers that were all throwing out offers day in, day out, that you could exploit each and every one of them and you could earn a really decent amount of money every single day, let alone every single week or month. These days, the profit levels are likely to be a lot smaller. People that are starting out tend to be seeing profits of a few hundred pound a month as opposed to a few thousand. So is it still worth it if you're just starting out to get a few hundred pound a month? Well, it totally depends on your circumstances. It totally depends on your situation. What are you looking for? Are you looking for something that's going to make you rich? Well, match betting probably isn't going to be for you. What match betting allowed me to do was to build up enough money that I could move on to another project. Now, I once saw a guy, Doug Polk, uh, I followed him for a number of years, and I once saw him talking about poker as saying, poker is a really good way to get to a million dollars or a couple of million dollars, but it's never gonna get you to 10 million dollars or a hundred million. And I see match betting as kind of that, but on a smaller level. For poker to get up to a million dollars, you're probably gonna need 50 to 100 grand to start with, or you're gonna need to slowly build your way up to that at least. With match betting, you can start with 100 pound, 200 pound, something like that. And I think that match betting is a really good way to get up to 10 grand or 20 grand from nothing. And that's what was really helpful for me because it's allowed me to set up a business, uh, spread my wings in all kinds of other directions and basically do whatever the fuck I want for the last few years from the comfort of my own home. These days, as money isn't as high, you could still earn up to 10 grand over the space of a year, or maybe it'd take you a little bit longer. It just depends how much time you can put into it, how much money you've got to start with, and all kinds of things like that. But if you're just looking for something that could earn you a few hundred pound a month, you just want something that could pay for your annual holiday or your Christmas presents or anything like that, then yes, it absolutely is worth starting right away. Is it still going to last long term? Is it still going to be around in 2019? How long will it last into the future? Well, I can't really comment too strongly on this definitively, but I can offer my opinions. And my opinion is, I think that especially with this new ban that bookmakers are putting on themselves where they're not going to be allowed to advertise in the middle of football matches anymore. And there's probably going to be other restrictions put on them in the future too, either by themselves or legally via the government. They're still going to need to fight for new customers. People generally like to sign up to one site and stay with them, which means other bookmakers do need to fight for their attention. They do need to offer perks for actually joining them. But what perks can they really offer? They could offer better odds than their competitors, things like that. But the truth is, most casual gamblers don't give a shit about what the odds are because they don't understand value and they don't understand how to actually make a profit. So what they really need to do is they need to chuck free money at people. They need to offer bonuses and free bets and things like that in order to try and get your custom. So as long as free bets are around and as long as promotions are around and all kinds of other things like odds boosts, match betting is always going to be possible, which means yes, it still is going to be around in 2019. And barring any major legal changes or anything like that, it'll probably still be around in 2020 and 2021 as well. But what is going to happen is the bookmakers are going to get even better at restricting people because they don't like winners. They don't allow winners to play. They're going to get even better at identifying those who are likely to win, who are likely to be match betting because they don't just use traders decisions you know it's not just people that are sat there reviewing your account reviewing your bets and seeing whether you're a winner or a loser or whether you're a skillful player or not a skillful player they also have algorithms and artificial intelligence that are judging whether you're a skillful player or not are you beating the market do you really understand where the value lies but it's not just that they're also collecting data on you there are things like ie snare which are downloaded to your computer which can sort of track what you're doing and there's other software as well that's getting more invasive, is probably illegal. I think that we'll see some sort of legislation around them actually using this stuff in the future because it's questionable at best and 
illegal at worst, as I say. They shouldn't really be allowed to do what they're doing, but they are doing it. You are being tracked. So these are things that are going to weigh into how long match betting will truly last. Is match betting going to be something in the future where people are just earning 100 to 200 pound a month from? I don't know. I think it's probably always going to be possible to earn at least three, 400 pound a month minimum, even with a small bankroll, as long as you're not gubbed from everywhere. Eventually, you are going to get gubbed from everywhere and you're not going to be able to get a bet on anywhere except for a betting exchange. Now, whilst a betting exchange will give you good value, like Smarkets, I'll pop a link down to Smarkets in the description below. That is an affiliate link, but it is the site I use to place my value bets. On a betting exchange, you're not going to get promotions and things like that. You're just going to get the best price or at least a fair market price, but you're not going to get shut down from them. So if you do fancy a punt, you're going to have to use an exchange. That's what I do. A, a number of people say this to me. They say, I don't want to do match betting because I don't want to get banned from all the bookmakers. Why the fuck not? Why would you not want to get banned from the bookmakers when you know this? The only way you can get banned from the bookmakers, unless you're doing something illegal, is to beat them. They will restrict you and ban you if you're a winner. So why would you not want to get banned from them? You want to carry on playing and losing? You want to carry on? You want a fun accumulator every now and again, even though it's not actually winning you any money in the long term. It's not making you any profit. And then on the flip side of this, I have people send me their... 12 month account statements and it shows me they're 200 pound in profit good for you they do let lucky winners play they just don't let skillful winners play they know who knows their shit and they know who doesn't and they're more than happy to let the people play who they believe will go on to lose money in the long term this is something that i've spoken about in a number of videos now i'm not going to dive too deep into that subject don't worry for those of you that are just bored of me harping on about this but i do want to make sure the word is out there i want to make sure that change happens in the industry change needs to happen People need to become more aware of this stuff. And bookmakers need to be more transparent in the fact that if you know what you're doing, they're probably going to shut you down. Yes, it's in their terms and conditions that they're allowed to shut your account down, but they don't tell you why. They don't tell you that if you show some skill, they don't want you. It's fair enough. It is fair enough. They should be allowed to ban people, in my opinion, that are obviously exploiting them. But they need to be upfront and honest about this. It needs to be a fair and open system, you know? Why are they KYCing people? Why are they targeting people that win? But those that lose tens or hundreds of thousands of pounds... All they end up doing is making them a VIP. It just doesn't seem right to me. Anyway, let's wrap things up for today. Do I think that match betting will be around in the future? Yes, I think it will always be around unless the law changes, which I just can't see. I can't see the government ever banning free bets. So it will be around in 2019. It will last forever, really. But how long will it last to be massively profitable? My guess is probably 2020. That's sort of the, the time frame I'm putting on it. So if you haven't got started yet, make sure you do. If you are in the UK, I do offer a free beginner course that's in the description below. Well, all of my content's free actually, but the beginner course is very popular and I do recommend that you check it out if you want to get yourself started in actually beating the bookmakers. If you're seeing this sometime in the future and match betting is still around, just get yourself started, just dive into it. Start with £100, make the profit that you can. If it's not as profitable as it once was, so what? If you take every single profit opportunity you can in life, you're going to be a very wealthy person and this is the easiest profit you're ever going to find. That's all for today's video. If you have found this useful or interesting, then hit that like button. Let me know any thoughts or comments you have down in the comments below and subscribe if you do want to see more betting content from me going forward. Thank you very much for watching.